have seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. The deadly secret of history lies in the shadow of power. Today, we unveiled forbidden archives, revealing twisted stories of betrayal, revenge, and silenced voices. These seismic shifts echo across centuries. Assassins alter their destinies with each fatal stroke. From Caesar to Kennedy, from Kremlin to Vatican, we unravel enigmas. Their ink was crimson, their motives murky. Echoes of their deeds still reverberate, haunting time. Abraham Lincoln. On April 14, 1865, actor John Wilkes Booth, a Confederate sympathizer, assassinated President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. This occurred just days after General Robert E. Lee's surrender, marking the end of the Civil War. Booth, born in Maryland in 1838, had initially planned to kidnap Lincoln, but shifted to a more sinister plan after the failed abduction and the fall of Richmond. Booth orchestrated the simultaneous assassination of Lincoln, Vice President Andrew Johnson, and Secretary of State William H. Seward. During a performance of Our American Cousin, Booth shot Lincoln in the head and stabbed Major Rathbone. Despite initial confusion, Booth escaped, albeit with a broken leg. Dr. Charles Leal attended to Lincoln, but could not save him. Lincoln passed away early the next morning, aged 56. Vice President Johnson, Lincoln's cabinet, and family members mourned his loss, marking a tragic end to Lincoln's presidency. Martin Luther King Jr. A pivotal figure in the American Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King Jr. passionately advocated for equality and justice through peaceful means. From the Montgomery bus boycott to the March on Washington, King's efforts led to significant legislative victories like the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act. Awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, he remains honored on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. However, tensions arose as younger activists criticized his nonviolent approach, evident during events in Selma. Amidst broader activism addressing poverty and the Vietnam War, King was tragically assassinated on April 4, 1968, while supporting a Memphis sanitation workers' strike. His death sparked riots nationwide, prompting a day of mourning declared by President Johnson. Martin Luther King 20 minutes ago died. <laughs> James Earl Ray, a convicted felon with racist leanings, confessed to the murder and received a 99-year sentence. Despite later recanting, King's legacy endures, influencing generations in the ongoing struggle for justice and equality. John Lennon. In 1957, musician John Lennon crossed paths with Paul McCartney, igniting a partnership that redefined musical history. Together, they formed the legendary Beatles, crafting iconic songs that resonated across generations. Lennon's departure from the band in 1969 marked a new chapter as he ventured into solo projects alongside his wife, Yoko Ono. However, tragedy struck on December 8, 1980, when a disturbed individual named Mark David Chapman fatally shot Lennon outside his New York City apartment. Lennon's return to the music scene with the album Double Fantasy was overshadowed by his untimely demise, leaving fans worldwide in mourning. Despite his passing, Lennon's influence on pop culture endures, with his music continuing to inspire millions. Posthumously honored in the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Lennon's legacy as a prolific songwriter and cultural icon remains unparalleled. Chapman's chilling confession at the crime scene revealed his twisted motivations, sparking widespread shock and disbelief. Although Lennon's life was tragically cut short, his spirit lives on through his music, cherished by fans old and new alike. John F. Kennedy. F. Kennedy, a seasoned politician who had served in Congress before assuming the presidency in 1961, faced numerous challenges during his tenure including diplomatic crises in Cuba and Berlin. Despite these obstacles, he achieved significant milestones such as the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty and the Alliance for Progress. Tragically, on November 22, 1963, while riding in a motorcade through Dallas, Kennedy was shot and killed at the age of 46. The events leading up to the assassination began on November 21, 1963, when Kennedy visited Fort Worth, Texas for a campaign event. The following day, as he rode through downtown Dallas with his wife and Texas Governor John Connolly, 
Shots rang out from a window of the Texas School Book Depository Building. Lee Harvey Oswald, a former Marine with links to the Soviet Union, was identified as the assailant. Days later, as Oswald was being transferred between jails, he was fatally shot by Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby. The nation was plunged into mourning by Kennedy's death. Yitzhak Rabin Yitzhak Rabin, a former soldier turned Prime Minister of Israel in 1992, opted for diplomacy over force in seeking peace with the Palestinians. He endorsed the Oslo Accords in 1993, which outlined a gradual Israeli withdrawal from occupied territories and granted Palestinians self-determination. This historic agreement, brokered in secrecy in Norway, was signed in Washington, earning Rabin the Nobel Peace Prize alongside Shimon Peres and Yasser Arafat in 1994. Rabin's military career began during World War II, fighting against German advancement in the Middle East. He later opposed British restrictions on Jewish immigration to Palestine. Rising through the ranks, Rabin became Israel's Army Chief of Staff after its establishment in 1948. The Oslo Accords sparked controversy among some Jewish factions, viewing them as a betrayal. Tragically, Rabin was assassinated by a religious extremist in 1995, shaking Israel and the world with the loss of a leader dedicated to peace, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, and his wife Sophie in Sarajevo on June 28, 1914, triggered the onset of World War I. Reports of the killings termed the tragedy in Sarajevo spread to New Zealand by June 30, with newspapers condemning the act as murder and a politically motivated crime. Efforts to dissuade the Archduke from visiting due to pan-Serbian tensions were highlighted, emphasizing the personal tragedy of their orphaned children. The assassin, Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb nationalist, sought to unite Serb-populated areas under Serbian control. Austria-Hungary's belief that Serbia aided the Princip led to stringent demands, escalating into war declarations. By July 28, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, followed by a domino effect of alliances. Germany's invasion of Belgium prompted Britain's entry into the war on August 4, 1914, marking the beginning of World War I. Benazir Bhutto Benazir Bhutto, the dynamic Pakistani leader, made history as the first democratically elected female leader of a Muslim nation. Yet her life was marred by tragedy with her assassination in 2007. Born into political royalty as the daughter of Pakistan People's Party founder Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, she assumed leadership of the PPP in 1982. Despite facing corruption allegations, Bhutto served two terms as prime minister in the 1990s before seeking refuge in London during exile. Returning to Pakistan to contest the 2008 general election, Bhutto met her demise during a PPP rally in Rawalpindi on December 27, 2007. An assailant fired shots and detonated explosives, claiming Bhutto's life along with 28 others and injuring over 100. Her burial in Gari Kuda Baksh witnessed an outpouring of grief, attended by her family and thousands of mourners. The attack plunged Pakistan into chaos, prompting violence and a delay in parliamentary elections. Bhutto's assassination left a void in Pakistan's political landscape and raised questions about the nation's stability amidst global concerns about terrorism. Rajiv Gandhi Rajiv Gandhi, born on August 20, 1944, served as the sixth Prime Minister of India from 1984 to 1989, succeeding his mother, Indira Gandhi, after her assassination. He was the youngest Indian Prime Minister, taking office at the age of 40. After his defeat in the 1989 election, he became the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha, resigning in December 1990. On May 21, 1991, Gandhi was assassinated during a public meeting in Sripurum Badur while campaigning for a Congress candidate. The assassination, carried out by a member of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, resulted in Gandhi's death along with at least 14 others. His funeral, held on May 24, 1991, was attended by dignitaries from over 60 countries and was telecast live. Gandhi was cremated at Virbhumi, alongside his mother, brother, and grandfather on the banks of the river Yamuna in Delhi, Anwar al-Sadat. On the anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, Anwar Sadat, the president of Egypt, was assassinated by Islamic extremists while inspecting troops. The attack, orchestrated by Khaled al Islambuli, an Egyptian army lieutenant associated with the terrorist group Takfir wal Hajira, saw the assailants donning army uniforms and opening fire on Egyptian government officials from a reviewing stand. 
Sadat, struck four times, succumbed to his injuries two hours later, along with 10 others who fell victim to the assault. Despite Sadat's notable achievements in Egypt, such as securing independence and promoting democracy, his controversial peace negotiations with Israel in 1977 to 78, for which he and Menachem Begin were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, made him a prime target for extremists in the Middle East. Despite the known dangers, Sadat persisted in his public engagements, viewing them as crucial for the nation's well-being. Mubarak subsequently apprehended hundreds suspected of involvement in the conspiracy, leading to the trial and sentencing of 25 individuals, including Islam Bouli and four others who were executed for their roles. King Faisal On March 25, 1975, Faisal, the third king of Saudi Arabia, was assassinated. Despite his reserved demeanor, he was regarded as a capable leader, notably for his reforms in education. Returning from the United States, he was shot and killed by his nephew, Faisal bin Musaid, during a customary gathering called a majlis. The assassin struck as the king leaned in to kiss him, firing two shots. Despite efforts to save him, Faisal died shortly after reaching Central Hospital in Riyadh. Following his death, Riyadh observed three days of mourning. Faisal was laid to rest in Al Oud Cemetery with his brother King Khalid, mourning deeply at his funeral. One theory suggests the assassination was in retaliation for the death of Prince Khalid bin Musaid, who led protests against Faisal's secular reforms. Faisal had reportedly foreseen his death, expressing it to close associates days before. Prince Faisal bin Musaid, declared sane after trial, was publicly executed for regicide in Riyadh's Dira Square. James A. Garfield James Abram Garfield, the 20th President of the United States, served from March to September 1881 until his assassination in July. A lawyer and Civil War general, he held nine terms in the House of Representatives, uniquely being elected president while in office. He declined a U.S. Senate seat upon his presidential victory. On July 2, 1881, at the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Station in Washington, D.C., Garfield was shot by Charles J. Guiteau, dying 79 days later in Elberon, New Jersey. Guiteau's motive stemmed from a perceived political debt and a desire to see Chester A. Arthur ascend to the presidency. Convicted of Garfield's murder, Guiteau was hanged a year later. Garfield, accompanied by his sons and Secretary of State Blaine, was shot by Guiteau upon entering the station's waiting room. Despite Garfield's cries, the bullet struck him, one grazing his shoulder and the other lodging behind his pancreas. Indira Gandhi Indira Gandhi was a prominent Indian politician, serving as the third Prime Minister of India from 1966 to 1977 and again from 1980 until her assassination in 1984. She was India's first and only female Prime Minister, leading the Indian National Congress and playing a crucial role in Indian politics. Henry Kissinger famously dubbed her the Iron Lady due to her strong-willed personality. On October 31, 1984, Gandhi was fatally shot by her Sikh bodyguards, Satwant Singh and Bant Singh, allegedly in retaliation for Operation Blue Star, at her residence in New Delhi. She was to be interviewed by filmmaker Peter Ustinov for an Irish television documentary. Both assailants were apprehended, with Bint shot dead afterward. Gandhi succumbed to her injuries after extensive medical efforts. The event marked a significant shift in Indian politics, with her son Rajiv Gandhi swiftly assuming the prime ministership. Tragically, her assassination also triggered violent anti-Sikh riots across India, claiming thousands of lives. Bob Marley Renowned Jamaican singer-songwriter Bob Marley played a pivotal role in popularizing reggae music worldwide, boasting record sales of over 75 million. In his native Jamaica, Marley's association with the People's National Party made him a target for rival factions, possibly leading to the assassination attempt on him in 1976. On December 3, 1976, gunmen attacked Marley and the Whalers during a rehearsal, just days before a scheduled concert in Kingston. Marley sustained gunshot wounds to his sternum and bicep, while his wife, Rita, was grazed in the head. Though Marley's manager, Don Taylor, was critically injured, Marley decided to proceed with the concert. Despite the attack's motivation remaining unclear, Marley left Jamaica after the performance. Marley's health deteriorated due to acral lentiginous melanoma, detected earlier in his toe, spreading to his brain, lungs, and liver. Seeking treatment in Germany, Marley briefly managed to overcome the cancer. However, he passed away in Miami on May 11, 1981, at age 36. King Alexander 
One of the most notable newsreel films captures the assassination of King Alexander of Yugoslavia on October 9, 1934. Although the exact moment of the shooting was not recorded, the events leading up to it and the immediate aftermath were captured. The cameraman continued filming from proximity to the king for several minutes after the chauffeur's body, killed instantly, jammed against the car brakes. The film was altered to imply the assassination had been captured, with three gunshot sounds added afterward, despite the gunman firing over 10 times and causing 15 casualties. King Alexander arrived in Marseilles on October 9, 1934, for a state visit to France. As he rode with French Foreign Minister Louis Bartho, Vlado Chernozemsky, a Bulgarian gunman from the Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, shot the king and the chauffeur. Alexander died instantly, while Bartho succumbed later due to inadequate medical care. A French policeman and the crowd swiftly killed Chernozemsky, Mahatma Gandhi. Renowned globally for his philosophy of nonviolent resistance, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, affectionately called Mahatma, initially engaged in activism as an Indian expatriate in South Africa. He emerged as the foremost figure in India's quest for independence from British rule post-World War I. Adhering to an austere lifestyle and devout Hinduism, Gandhi faced multiple imprisonments and embarked on hunger strikes to combat social injustices, including the plight of the impoverished. Even after the partition of India in 1947, he persevered in fostering Hindu-Muslim harmony. Tragically, Gandhi's life ended in January 1948, when he was assassinated in Delhi by a Hindu extremist. At 78, the revered leader, known as the Great Soul of India, breathed his last, his head resting on the lap of his 16-year-old granddaughter, Mani. The assailant, Ram Naturam, fired three fatal shots at Gandhi in the serene environs of Birla House, where he often conducted his evening prayers, marking a grievous loss for the nation. Julius Caesar It's widely known that Julius Caesar met his demise through assassination a pivotal event in history that potentially altered the course of the world. Contemporary accounts depict the conspiring senators discreetly exiting the assembly, triumphantly announcing their deed to the streets, declaring the liberation of Rome from tyranny. However, their expectation of acclaim was met with a haunting silence from the populace, leaving them bewildered. Returning home, they found themselves besieged by the realization of impending consequences. Fearing retaliation, most fled Rome. The aftermath saw the eruption of the Civil War, shattering what remained of the Roman Republic. The assassination, occurring on March 15, 44 BC, heralded a cascade of events whose repercussions reverberated throughout history. Alexander Litvinenko Alexander Valterovich Litvinenko, a British-Russian defector and former officer of the Russian Federal Security Service, gained prominence as a critic of President Vladimir Putin, coining the term Mafia State. In November 1998, Litvinenko accused his superiors of orchestrating the assassination of Boris Berezovsky, leading to his arrest on charges of exceeding his authority. Acquitted in 1999 and again in 2000, he sought asylum in the UK, where he worked as a journalist and consultant. On November 1, 2006, Litvinenko fell seriously ill and was hospitalized in London, where tests revealed poisoning with polonium-210. He had met with former agents Dmitry Kovtun and Andrei Lugovoy, as well as Italian acquaintance Mario Scaramella on the day he fell ill. Litvinenko accused Putin of ordering his assassination before his death on November 23, 2006. Scotland Yard continued inquiries, and a posthumous statement attributed the poisoning to Putin. Litvinenko's death highlighted international condemnation of Putin's regime. Malcolm X On February 21, 1965, Malcolm X, a prominent African-American nationalist and religious leader, was assassinated at the Audubon Ballroom in New York City while addressing his organization of Afro-American unity. A year after becoming a fugitive, he was shot during the OAAU meeting by at least three members of the Nation of Islam, a group he had previously been associated with for a decade before splitting from them in 1964. The identity of the shooters has been disputed, with one man, Talmadge Hayer, confirmed as a shooter, while two others were arrested and sentenced but likely wrongly accused. The motive behind Malcolm X's assassination remains contentious, fueling various conspiracy theories over the years. Robert F. Kennedy On June 5, 1968, Robert F. Kennedy, a United States senator and presidential candidate, was shot by Sirhan Sirhan at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California. He succumbed to his injuries the following day. Having won the California and South Dakota primaries, 
Kennedy addressed his supporters in the hotel's embassy ballroom. After the speech, he intended to proceed through the kitchen area to meet the press. However, amid the crowd, he was redirected by security, ultimately encountering Sirhan Sirhan, who fired multiple shots at close range. Kennedy's assassination prompted the Secret Service to protect presidential candidates and fueled conspiracy theories. Notably, the moment Kennedy was shot, captured in an iconic image, has remained etched in history. Philip II of Macedon Philip II of Macedon, reigning from 359 BC until his demise in 336 BC, was a pivotal figure in ancient Macedonia and the father of Alexander the Great. His reign came to a tragic end when he was assassinated in October 336 BC at Egi, the kingdom's ancient capital. Philip's assassination occurred during the festivities, commemorating the marriage of his daughter Cleopatra to Alexander I of Epirus. Unprotected to appear approachable, Philip was stabbed by one of his own bodyguards, Pausanias of Orestes, as he entered the town's theater. The assassin attempted to flee, but was pursued and killed by Philip's other bodyguards. The motives behind the assassination remain uncertain, though ancient historian Aristotle suggests it stemmed from Pausanias being offended by Attalus, Philip's uncle-in-law. Attalus, Cleopatra's uncle, likely played a role in provoking the assassin. Remember, history is not just a tale of heroes and triumphs, but also of intrigue and tragedy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.